we'll begin by talking about whole numbers. The first thing we need to talk about is a place value in whole numbers. So starting from the right, this is the ones spot. This is the tens spot. And this is the hundreds spot. We repeat in groups of three. So this next group is the thousands group. And so we have the one thousands, or just the thousands. And then we have the ten thousands. And then we have the hundred thousands. Sorry about the writing. And then we have another group of three, and again it repeats. This is the millions group, so it goes one million, ten million, hundred million. We don't usually write the one, so it's just, we say millions, ten millions, and then hundred millions. And then there'd be another group of three. It always is in groups of three, and it always repeats ones, tens, hundreds, and then whatever the group name is after it. So we have one thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, one millions, ten millions, hundred millions, and the next group would be billions, one billion, ten billions, hundred billions. We place commas every three numbers starting from the right to separate those groups. So we would start here, and that's at the end. We put a comma there, a comma there, and a comma there. Those commas break up the groups that we were just talking about. So this problem wants us to find the number in the 10,000 spot. So if we look at this, remember that the two is in the one spot, the zero is tens, the nine is hundreds. Then we have the next group, so we have eight is in the 1,000 spot, so that means that 5 is in the 10,000 spot. So the answer to this is 5. This problem wants us to write the number in words. To write the numbers in words, we need to first of all put the comma in the right spot. So we start from the right and we go three numbers over and then we put a comma. That helps us read it. So the 7 we read the number up into the comma, so we would read this number, and we write that first, that's seven, and then the comma is at the end of the thousands group, so we would say seven thousand, and then we put a comma in the words, just like there's a comma in the numbers, and then we would read the next group of three, and we read that as 561. There's no and when you read a number. It's just 7,561. We'll talk about that and word later um, in a later chapter. So if we look at this number, now we're trying to go the other way. It says 900 million. So remember, first of all, we'll look at the 900 and we write that number. The million is going to be a comma. Now remember how the groupings go. We have the, the ones group, ones, tens, thousands, and then the ones, tens, hundreds, and then the thousands group, and then a comma, and then the millions group. So if you see here, it goes from million, and then there's nothing else except for this 406. So that means we have to have something to hold this thousand spot, that whole group. So we have to have three zeros in there so that this comma will represent the million spot. So we have no thousands, so we have zero, 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 and then 406, so we would write 406, and that's how we write that number. Numbers to the right on a number line are always bigger, 
and we use inequality symbols like that and that to compare numbers. Um, the numbers, this the symbol always opens to the bigger number. So if we have 55 and 91, we know that 91 is bigger, so we want to make it open towards the 91. And this is red, 55 is less than 91. To round numbers, we underline the number that's in whatever place they want us to round to. And then we look at the number to the right of it. If it is 5 or bigger, then the underlying number goes up. If it is 4 or smaller, the underlying number stays the same. All the numbers after the underlying number are replaced with 0. So if we look at this number, we have 325, and we want to round to the nearest 10. That's this spot right here. So we look at the number that's after it, and this number after it is 5 or bigger, which tells us this number that's underlined is going to go up. So the, the numbers that are to the left of the underlined number stay exactly the same. That 2 that's underlined is going to go up, and then every number after that underlined number becomes a 0. So this is rounded to 330. And that's because when we look at this rounded to the nearest 10, we're really trying to see is that 25 closer to 20 or is it closer to 30? And if it's in the middle, then we go up. So let's look at this one. We have 42,395. We want the 10,000 spot, which is this number here. So we look at the number after it. That number after it is 4 or smaller, so that 4 is going to stay the same. We're going to leave it be a 4. And then everything after it, every number after it, gets replaced with a 0. So we have 40,000. And again, we're really trying to say if we're rounding to the nearest 10,000, is this number closer to 40,000 or 50,000? And the answer is 40,000. So that should allow you to do the homework in section 1.1.